Ayo. What's going on, YouTube? It's the Flyers Vlogger on the planet. My name is Showtime Bazaar. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great, positive, productive day as always. You know, I got hip hop news, cultural updates, and everything like that for you guys today. But before we do any and all that, you know what you got to do. See that subscribe button on your screen right there. I need you to click that, turn that bell icon on so each and every time one of my videos drop the content that I'm providing to you, you don't miss it. Let's get into it, y'all. Drop my intro. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on? Uh, your boy is back. The ruler's back. I um had to take last week off, man. I was sick. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Coughing on everything. But I'm good now. We good now. We back in here. Got some stuff to chop it up with you guys about. And the first thing I want to discuss is the return of Brittany Griner. She is back on United States soil. She's been back for about a week now. Um, a lot of people were not too happy with who she was traded for. Okay, she was traded for a man named Victor Bout, a arms dealer. You don't know what an arms dealer is, basically a gun trafficker, okay? Um that's a that's another way of putting it. And um here's what I'm gonna say about that. First of all, let me just say I'm glad that Brittany Griner is back home where she's supposed to be at, okay? I understand the um ramifications of her actions being that she was not aware of a um of the amount of weed she was allowed to have and even if the cartridges are illegal she should have been aware of that i understand all that but let's just be honest guys that was an extensive amount of time she was over there not only that i feel like they're um they're trying to make an example out of Brittany Griner. Okay, they tried to give her nine years. Actually, they ain't tried to. They they was she's gonna serve nine years for that weed cartridge. Now, um, the trading her them trading her for Victor Bout. I know the U.S. make a lot of stupid decisions, but here's the thing: I don't think the U.S. gave him up. He might go to jail over there. I don't know what's going on over there, but I will say this. I don't think he would be allowed to come back over here onto U.S. soil for, for quite a long time, okay? Not only that, I do believe that the U.S. will be keeping an eye on him just because they know how dangerous this man is. So somehow, some type of way, Buddy ain't just finna just walk back over here like everything is sweet. That That's not finna happen. So I'm pretty sure there were some details in that conversation when the trade went down to not just allow it ain't like a basketball trade where you know what I'm saying? somebody just allowed to bounce right this is a this is a dangerous individual he was in jail for a reason so let's let's give him a little bit of credit i know we do some wild stuff over here in the united states but i'm i'm, I'm almost positive that they didn't just let buddy just go back over there all willy-nilly and free and you know all right you can come back over here anytime you please i don't think that's how that's going down so um Let's let's cut, you know, Brittany Griner some slack, and then also the United States some slack. Like we're not, we nobody, we weren't in her shoes. So she's over there for ten months. That's a long time. Imagine being away from your family for ten months, all because of a weed pen, you know. And don't give me that. Oh, well, I would have knew before I went over there. You shut up. And not all the time do you know all the rules, and 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 things like that. When you go into the other country. Some of you ain't never been to another country. And it's good for you to do your research. It's just a learning lesson. You know, I'm pretty sure now she understands what's going on. But also, we got to understand this. Brittany Griner is a WNBA player. They don't make that much money over here in the United States. So she has to go overseas to make money to feed her family. So, you know, think about that as well. She was over there trying to feed her family. To, you know, she's playing basketball. And now... She had been locked up for 10 months all because of something as small as a weed pen. Again, I understand it's illegal over there, but, you know, let's just cut her some slack. Just a little bit, in my opinion. I am. But let me know what you guys think about the whole situation in the comments below. How do you feel about Brittany Griner, the trade? Um, what are your thoughts and opinions on it, you know? Um, do you think Brittany Griner learned her lesson? How do you think we resolved this problem? Let me know all that in the comments below. All right, guys, on to the next subject here. Let's keep it in the sports realm. So, uh, Shannon Sharp and Skip Bayless, they were on their show Undisputed. When uh, things went a little left, 
Here's what Skip Bayless had to say. Take a listen. You had to stop at 35. Skip, that's what you that's do. That's the point. That's what you do. Every time somebody, every time I call something into question, I'm jealous. No. Skip, I did well, what I did. I never did. said you were jealous of Baker Mayfield. Skip, I did what I did. You make it seem like I was a bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got three what? Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better way than you. Better. Skip, what if I got to see what you do? You take personal shots. No, when you put I, don't, I don't take yeah. personal oh, shots. You time time started it. Time out. All right, guys. So, um. Here's what I want to say about that. I don't like what Skip Bayless said, mainly because he made it personal. The topic was about Tom Brady, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady is not playing the way he should be playing or the way that we're used to seeing him play. Um, it's not going on with that team, okay? The team is not the Super Bowl team that they had a couple of years ago. You know, a lot of injuries, um, stuff like that. You know, he's had some off-season things where he retired, he came back. You know, his wife divorced him. Antonio Brown's running around with his wife, all type of weird stuff. So it's, it's weird, right? He's got a lot going on. Um, so the team is just not, they're just not, they're not rolling right now. I think it was lame for Skip Bayless to personally attack a guy that he chose in Shannon Sharp to do that show with just because he said some things that you don't agree with about Tom Brady. Like, that's what. You know what I'm saying? I think Skip Bayless should publicly apologize to Shannon Sharp because it was lame. It was corny. It was out of pocket, you know. Um, and on top of that, Shannon Sharp is 100% right. It's not like, Skip, you're sitting across from a guy that is not a three-time Super Bowl champion and a Hall of Fame tight end. You know what I'm saying? Like, you sitting, a guy, you sitting across a guy that, if we're being honest, has the qualifications to discuss the greatness of a Tom Brady because he played football and has won multiple Super Bowl rings just like Tom Brady. So to me, the only person that's sitting at that table that's unqualified to have that conversation would be you, Skip Bass, because you never played professional football. So if anybody has a critique of him, it should be Shannon Sharp, which is probably the reason why you chose him to talk about it because he's qualified to have those conversations. And just because you feel like, well, I don't agree with that. Now you want to say, well, he's better than you. By whose standards? You know? Like, I didn't like that. I think he he made it too personal, and I think it was lame on Skip Bayless' part, man. I think that, um, you know, it was uncalled for, man. That was, that's, that's your friend, and you made it personal. And, and plus, it's embarrassing on national TV for you to, you know, kind of call out your friend over over a guy that you probably don't even know that well. You know what I'm saying? This is a guy you work with every day. You know, so I thought that was whack. But let me know what you guys think about the whole exchange. What were your thoughts and opinions? How do you feel about what Skip Bayless said? Was he right? Was he wrong? What do you think about Shannon Sharp's response? Let me know all that in the comments below. All right, guys. In the last couple things I want to discuss with you guys today before I get up out of here. So this conversation, this 50-50 conversation with Glorilla, um, the only reason I'm talking about this is because this conversation keeps happening. It's like, at the end of the day, bro, I'm going to just say this. Stop letting the internet tell you how your relationship should go. I just think we need to let that go. We need to move past what works for you works for you. I don't know where we get this notion of... um. If it works for me, it has to work for the next person, the next person. It don't always work like that. Sometimes the way that you get to uh, your destination might be a little bit of a different path. And I think that we we tend to let the internet say what's right and wrong when it comes to certain things. There is no right or wrong when it comes to your relationship. What works for you works for you and your partner. Okay, so that being said, if Glow really wants to go 50-50 with her partner, with her man... That's her business. She expressed her opinion on it. And it's it's okay to talk about it. I just think like people take that also entirely too personal. Because they're like well. You know. A man should do this. A woman should do that. It's different times nowadays y'all. Okay. You got to adjust with the time. So whatever. However y'all feel like it should work for y'all. Make it work for y'all. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to go into great detail about that. Because. It's just, it's an age-old conversation. I feel like there will never be 
a real solution to it. It's just whatever you and your partner are comfortable with, make it happen. Last thing I do want to talk about though is holiday time. The reason I want to talk about the holidays is because I also see this pop up a lot and I just want to talk about it. Holidays are always tough, okay? Um, because especially for my generation, we are older. Um, holidays when we were kids were different because our parents made them different. I feel like a lot of us have not grasped the concept yet that we are the parents, we are the aunties, the uncles, and and you know so on and so forth. So the traditions that we are used to probably need to start your own now. Okay, stop getting on this internet every damn year saying the same thing, talking about holidays just don't hit like they used to. Holidays ain't this and blah 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 blah. If you got kids of your own. Stop trying to make Christmas feel like when you were 12, when you were 10. It ain't going to be that. Because I'm pretty sure when our parents were our age, Christmas didn't feel like when it did when they were kids. So just start your own stuff. They had to. The stuff that we do that we were used to when we were kids, um, a lot of our parents probably made that up. Get creative. Make the holidays what you want to make. Y'all running around here just... Buying gifts and then just want y'all kids to open them on Christmas. That's why I don't feel like nothing. Take them to do stuff. Okay, take your cousins, your nieces, your nephews, your kids. Do Christmas-like stuff. Stop crying on the internet and complaining. And the reason I say holidays are a tough time, let me go back real quick. The reason I say that is because a lot of people have lost loved ones during the holidays. So that's always tough for them. Also... The amount of money and depression that people go into trying to make the holidays special for people also causes people to not really like enjoy the holidays. That all being said, here's what I suggest you do. Create your own traditions. Again, do holiday stuff. Go see a movie. Go Christmas caroling. Go decorate the tree. Go... Um, Play holiday games, invite friends and family over on Christmas Eve. Like, come up with something that feels holiday spirit to you. Because a lot of times, the stuff that y'all complaining about is just y'all lack of being creative and y'all want somebody else to do it. Make your own traditions, man. Make your own fun. Make the holidays personal for you. That's what it's about. And y'all not doing it. Quit being lazy. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below, man. But I'm out of here, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. And as always, until next time, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.